How do I feel about the decision to approve Selexapag to patients in England? I think it's a fantastic decision. It's long overdue. Um, obviously, the drug's been licensed and approved for use for several years now, and it's in use in Europe and around the world. So it's, um, it's absolutely essential for our patients that they get access to this uh, new therapy. I think it's, it's fantastic news for, for patients, and it's also great news for the NHS. Well, um, the patient voice um, was absolutely crucial. Um, there was much less patient involvement at the start of this process several years ago when we first um, heard that Selexpag was getting a license and then um, a group of clinicians, PH professionals, worked with NHS England to try and get it commissioned. Um, obviously it failed on a couple of occasions, that's um, been well documented, um, but what became increasingly important was the role that the PHA played in supporting the case and NHS England um, very much in involved the patient more and more. And I think it was that that really was a momentum changer for the decision. Um, adding the patient voice uh, somehow got the narrative and got the story and got the context um, for decision makers at NHS England so that they better understood how the drug was so important, where it might fit in and what a difference it was going to make. Um, and one of the, the most important things I think is um, everyone contributing and one of the great advantages of the patient is that the patient experiences the disease themselves and they're very very capable of articulating that in a language that individuals can understand. And I think what we need to remember is that people are making decisions are, are individuals in their own right and, and many people making decisions are also patients. And here a patient story I think brings all the important aspects of how the condition affects people much, much more to life than a doctor going on or droning on about the hemodynamic and physiological effects. So I think what the patient and their families and, uh, and caregivers bring is they bring a, a degree of reality that is often missed out in other descriptions of the illness. So it's very, very important when you're communicating with people to have a nice narrative and a nice story um, and to understand what a huge impact that poem hypertension can make on people's lives. Um, it's, it's really important for patients to to get involved with these sorts of um, opportunities to share their experiences because as clinicians um, then we have a long experience of working in this clinical area, we can um, interrogate and understand uh, trial results, those sorts of scientific things, um, but what we can't articulate um, as well as the patient is actually what living with that condition is like. Um, the impact on day-to-day -day activities, um, understanding the goals and what people would want from um, a treatment might be very different sitting from a clinician perspective to, to that patient perspective. So um, I think it's really important because they add a totally different uh, sort of voice and a totally different part of the conversation than anything that we as, as clinicians um, c can give. So. Yeah, um, absolutely important and people must always feel, even if they've never come forward, never spoke up before, that um, they must always feel they've got a voice and PHA is always willing to hear from any of their members across the board because um, everyone's take on it's going to be slightly different and the impact of um, an improvement in their condition has a different impact on everyone living with this terrible disease. So. Yeah, so people shouldn't feel shy. Um, everyone has got a really important voice, um, and it's and it's great that that so many did come forward, um, and would continue to do so. Yeah, I think patients and 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 ourselves as individuals sometimes underestimate the the impact that we can make on, on decision makers. I think instinctively you often think there are other individuals out there who will be articulating our case, putting forward our views. And actually I think what we all sometimes need to remember is what an important voice we all have as individuals. And within the NHS, I think people who are making decisions are used to hearing um, from different groups, uh, physicians, healthcare professionals, lobbying for different treatments and why it's so important. And I think to hear it from the patient's perspective and from family members is sometimes much more refreshing and also gives another angle. I've learned a huge amount from 
from patients and their families. And, and we hope that by learning from patients and their families and from their experiences, that makes us uh, better caregivers, better doctors, better nurses. Um, so I, I just like to say to all the patients and their family members who um, lent their voice to the campaign, um, just to say thank you very much. And also just to remind people, not that they need any reminding, but uh, that it's important to continue to do this, continue to lobby, continue to work with associations like, like the Patients Association, the PHA UK. And I think by working in partnership at multiple levels, um, that this is one way that we can make a, a real impact in, in this illness. It's, it's clearly made a big difference uh, this time round with Selexpag, and uh, almost certainly it will make a big difference again.